That was the sound of someone coding in C++. The creator of C++, Bjorn Straustrup, once said, C makes it easy to shoot yourself in the foot. C++ makes it harder, but when you do, it blows your whole leg off. So, you're probably expecting me to be on Team C Sharp right from the start, aren't you? But Haha, <laughs> not so fast! In this video, we'll compare two very powerful technologies, namely C++ and C Sharp. Both of these programming languages are consistently rated as in the top five most popular programming languages in the world, but which one is better? Let's first look at a summary of what I would say are the key features when comparing these two languages. C++ provides low-level memory manipulation capabilities, enabling developers to work closely with hardware and optimize resource usage. So C++ is very powerful, but when your C++ code can directly manipulate hardware resources like memory, you need to be careful when harnessing certain powerful capabilities available in the C++ programming language. C++ runs close to the metal, which means it runs directly on top, as it were, of the operating system and can communicate directly with your computer's hardware. Whereas languages like C Sharp and Java, which importantly are both descendants of C++, each run, as it were, on top of their own software layer. C Sharp runs on top of .NET and Java runs on top of the JRE, Java Runtime Environment. C Sharp utilizes automatic garbage collection and automatic memory management provided by .NET's Common Language Runtime. This reduces the risk of memory-related errors but provides less control over memory usage. Like C++, C Sharp is also very powerful but it is slower than C++ because it runs on top of .NET, which comes with many benefits like automatic memory management, garbage collection, security, default exception handling, and just-in-time compilation, but also comes with a performance overhead. However, .NET and C Sharp are optimized for many scenarios and are adequate for most application-level programming. C++ is preferred for performance-critical applications and low-level system programming while C Sharp is favored for application development, especially within the .NET ecosystem. I see C++ as very powerful, but it also comes with a lot of complexity. With C Sharp, it is kind of like the safety catch is always on, unless you explicitly turn it off. So this prevents you from blowing any of your limbs off. And in my opinion, the coding experience generally is far more pleasurable when coding in C Sharp. As always, when it comes to choosing between two programming languages, it often depends on specific project requirements and a developer's familiarity with each of the relevant languages. One thing I feel I do know for sure, however, is that C++ should never be your first programming language to learn. So if it's a choice between learning C++ or C Sharp as your first programming language, do yourself a favor and learn C Sharp first. Then, if you still want to go through the excruciating pain and psychological torment of learning C++, after learning C Sharp, you'll be far more equipped to understand the complex concepts associated with C++. So before you leap into a world of pointers, shared pointers, unique pointers, templates, metaprogramming, pointers that point to 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 pointers, learn C Sharp first. So let's start with a brief history of C++ and C Sharp. A brief history of C++ and C Sharp. C++ was developed by Bjorn Straustrup while working on his PhD thesis at Bell Labs in 1979. He wanted to create a dynamic language that would allow programmers to build complex systems with high-level abstractions while still providing low-level access to the hardware. Bjorn Straustrup is a Danish computer scientist known for developing the C++ programming language. The first commercial implementation of C++ was released in October 1985, which at the time of creating this video makes C++ nearly 40 years old. Wow! C++ is a high-level general purpose programming language that has object-oriented, generic, and functional features. In 1979, Beyond Straustrup began working on C with classes, which was the precursor to C++. So C++ is a direct evolution of the C programming language. But in many interviews with Bjorn Straustrup, he alludes to a particular programming language that had a profound influence on C++, a programming language called Simula was developed in the 1960s 
and was an extension of Algol 60. Simula 67 introduced objects, classes, inheritance, and subclasses. So if you look at this diagram, you can clearly see the evolution of C++, and you can see that languages like C Sharp and Java are descendants of C++. C Sharp version 1 was released in January 2002. It is a modern general purpose programming language designed and developed from the ground up by the renowned Danish software engineer Anders Halsberg and his team at Microsoft. I've heard Anders Halsberg say in an interview that with C Sharp, the goal was to provide the power and expressiveness of C++ and the RAD, rapid application development capabilities of Visual Basic. C Sharp code can run on Windows, Mac OS, as well as Linux. So like C++, it is cross-platform. Unlike C++, that runs close to the metal, C Sharp needs to run within an environment known as .NET, which runs on top, as it were, of the relevant operating system. C Sharp needs to run within an environment known as .NET, which in turn runs on top, as it were, of the relevant operating system. So C++ runs directly on top of the operating system, and C Sharp runs on top of .NET. C Sharp supports object-oriented programming, functional programming, generic programming, and much more. It is a general purpose, easy to learn modern programming language that is consistently evolving in step with trends in technology, like for example, the evolution of AI. Note that the C++ programming language has evolved over the years, but one of the core issues with C++ as a whole is that in order to preserve backward compatibility, there is still a lot of legacy functionality left over in the language that is not as robust as newly added counterpart functionality. For example, Concepts like unique pointers and shared pointers have been introduced so that resources associated with these types of pointers are automatically freed at the appropriate time during code execution, unlike ordinary pointers where associated resources need to be manually freed up in code at the appropriate point in the code's execution. Vectors and range loops have been introduced to prevent the previous commonly experienced errors. For example, retrieving garbage data when code attempts to retrieve items from an array from memory locations that fall outside the memory boundaries of the relevant array. So C++ is also evolving, but C Sharp has developed with the benefit of knowing, as it were, the complexities that may have caused development time hindrances in the past when developing applications using C++. C Sharp is my favorite programming language. But this is in large part due to the undeniable influence of C++ on the language. Remember, Anders Halsberg said that his goal when developing C Sharp was to combine the power and expressiveness of C++ with the RAD, Rapid Application Development Capabilities, of Visual Basic. Okay, so with C Sharp, it is far easier for an aspiring developer to be up and coding useful applications fairly quickly, certainly when compared to needing to learn some of the complexities in C++ before creating even basic applications. However, for those brave souls that refuse to give up and really, really want to learn C++, your code can potentially run much faster than code written in C Sharp. Because unlike with C Sharp code that runs on top, as it were, of .NET, your code runs close to the metal. So this brings us to the next point. What type of applications do you want to write? So. If you want to write these type of applications, web applications, desktop applications, enterprise applications, cloud native applications, games, using the Unity game engine, code that seamlessly integrates with the .NET environment, C Sharp is definitely your best option. I believe there is generally a wider pool of proficient C Sharp developers to choose from, and it will ultimately be more cost effective to use C Sharp and .NET for these types of applications. C++ is definitely the best choice where code needs to communicate directly with hardware or where the target device is resource constrained. The binaries are a lot smaller and will run a lot faster and more efficiently. For game development, C++ is a great choice because it is the language used to create games on the Unreal Game Engine. C++ is the best option if you wish to create operating systems, browsers, device drivers, compilers, or any advanced application where high-speed rendering is required. For example, applications like Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator. Here are a few well-known apps where C++ has been leveraged for its high-speed performance capabilities. 
Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator, the back end for Spotify, core functionality for YouTube, for example, the video processing functionality. In Amazon, C++ is used for processing requests. The Windows operating system, Microsoft Office, MySQL, was written in C and C++, Mozilla Firefox. So you can see that C++ is widely used in advanced apps where high performance speeds are a core requirement. So both C Sharp and C++ are versatile, powerful, and expressive programming languages. C++ is great for creating code that runs fast and efficiently and communicates directly with hardware components. C Sharp is great where you want to create cost-effective enterprise applications where a team of developers can leverage the rapid application development capabilities inherent in the C Sharp programming language. C Sharp is also way easier to learn than C++. In terms of which programming language pays the highest salaries, that may depend on who you work for and the area in which you work. So according to these statistics calculated from a Stack Overflow survey for 2024, C Sharp developers on average earn more than C++ developers. I would imagine, however, if a company was desperate to hire really great senior C++ developers, that they would pay top dollar for such developers because I would imagine that really great senior C++ developers are in short supply. But I recommend using services like LinkedIn or popular recruitment websites like Monster or Indeed and perform searches for C Sharp and C++ developer jobs in and around the area in which you live. Then you can compare the salaries that can be earned for C Sharp developers as well as C++ developers. Hey, you may just enjoy the sheer masochism involved in learning C++. Whatever your reasons, I do recommend learning C Sharp first because it will allow you to gain momentum on your journey to becoming a software engineer as it is far easier to learn. Many of the principles you'll learn when learning the C Sharp programming language will make it far easier if you still want to put yourself through the pain and agony and psychological torment of learning C++. In 1979, Bjorn, in 1979, Bjorn Brown, in 1979, Bjorn, Str